Well, it's that time again! It's spooby season! The season we celebrate scaring ourselves because nothing else in our life makes us feel any emotion. Anyways, given the fact that I'm a scaredy cat, I thought it would be funny to share some of my experience with the Halloween season. Keep in mind, these stories are from many years ago. I'm not that much of a wimp anymore, or at least that's what I tell myself. Now, I didn't start liking scary movies and shows until I was a lot older, but even to this day, I don't really like to watch many scary movies. But I will never forget the first scary movie I ever saw, and it still to this day is the scariest movie I've ever seen. Keep in mind, I saw this when I was like 11. This movie was... The Grudge. No, I'm just kidding. It was Coraline. But nevertheless, this movie is freaking creepy. I mean, look at the other mother. Look at her! Now, the reason it scared me so much watching it for the first time was the fact that it was targeted for kids. And watching the trailer, I, I mean, it looked spooky, but nothing too bad. So when I saw the spider mother and the girls with their eyes sewn out, I was terrified. Now, given the fact that I was a lot younger and wasn't prepared for the scariness when I first saw it, I rewatched the movie last year to see if it was still scary. And yep, it still is. Even as a 20-year-old guy, it creeps me out. Now, a few years later, while I was trying to get more comfortable with scary stuff, I agreed to go to a haunted maze with my friends and family. And for the most part, it was really fun. I mean, it was still scary, like, there was this lady that jumped out of a tree and started to crawl at us. Now that was freaky. But still, hanging out with my friends and going through a Halloween-themed maze was really enjoyable. Now, the part that freaked me out the most was what happened before we got into the maze. While we were standing in the very long line waiting to get into the maze, one of the managers gave us the rules. Don't go outside the maze, don't climb on anything, and don't touch the actors, so no sucker punching them if they scare us. Pretty basic stuff. But when we got to the front of the line, the man at the entrance asked us to repeat the rules. And I don't remember exactly what happened, but I may have made a snarky comment and it caught the guy's attention because he walked up and stood over me. Think you're a funny boy, don't you? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, that's what people tell me. Well, obviously, you can't listen. What did the lady in the line tell you? That the jack-o'-lanterns are made of plastic? Now, for the record, she did tell me that. No. She said that you can't touch the actors. Then he looked down to indicate to me that my hands were touching his chest. Look, I would have agreed with the guy, except for the fact that he was bending over me and two inches away from my face. Look, I'm sorry I put my hands there to keep you from laying on me and they touched your chest. Next time, I'll just put them on my butt so they're out of your way. Anyways, that was the creepiest and the weirdest thing that happened to me that night. Nowadays, as a young adult, I've still been trying to get more into creepy stuff. Like, I've been watching three scary games with Markiplier, I've been watching more scary movies, and I've really been getting into Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Now, admittedly, DHMIS is more funny than it is scary, but it still has some really creepy parts in there, and some modern-day commentary that would make any adult shudder. I am glad that I've been getting into this stuff because it's made me a lot tougher when it comes to scary media, and it's opened my mind to a whole lot more content for me to enjoy. Like the FNAF movie, and y'all better believe I'm going to be seeing that as soon as it comes out. Anyways, happy Halloween everybody, cheerio, and some modern-day commentary that would make any adult shudder. I said shover, instead of shiver, or shudder.